Well, hey, everybody, Mr. Reeves back with you, and today we're going to be looking at finding the distance between two points in the coordinate plane, and we're going to be talking about two ways that you can do it. All right, the first way that you can do it is using the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem can be used on right triangles. So if I have a point here, on the coordinate plane any point here on the coordinate plane and I'm looking to find this distance between them right there what I can do is I can draw from the first point a vertical line straight down and from the second point a horizontal line straight across creating a right triangle and then using the grid I can find these distances you can see that this distance right here is 2 and this distance right here is 4 and this distance here that we usually call C or the hypotenuse we're gonna start calling D for distance and we are we know by the Pythagorean theorem that a squared plus B squared equals C squared right C squared but we're gonna go ahead and start changing that C to a D you like how I did that so a squared plus B squared equals D squared so we would have 2 squared plus 4 squared is equal to d squared. We'd get 4 plus 16 is d squared. So 20 would be d squared. But our goal is not to find d squared. It's to find 20. So we take the square root of both sides and we get d is the square root of 20. And that would be what we call the exact distance. All right, but if we wanted it to the nearest tenth, as they describe here, then we would go ahead and take our handy dandy calculator and we are going to put in the square root of 20. All right, let me go ahead and hide that over there. I don't like seeing that. Here we go. The square root of 20, and when I put that in to the nearest tenth, I get 4.5. Okay, so 4.5 units is the approximate distance between these two points here. All right, so the Pythagorean theorem is the first way we can find the distance between any two points. All right, so right here, if I'm asked to find the distance between that point there and that point there, again, that would be right here, and we would call that our D distance we're trying to find. I could go ahead and go up vertically from that point and over horizontally from that point and see where they meet. By the way, I also could go down and over. Do you see that I get two congruent right triangles? It doesn't actually matter which way that you do it. I did it the way the book did it. All right, so then we can just simply count using the units on the grid. One, two, three, four units there. Let me make it blue. One, two, three, four vertical units. One, two, three, four, five, six horizontal units. And then we know that six squared plus four squared is equal to a D squared. All right, or 36 plus 16 is D squared. I believe that's 52 is D squared, but we don't want D squared. We want D, so D is the square root of 52. That is that distance right there. All right, but to the nearest tenth, we're going to go to our handy-dandy calculator. We're going to put in square root of 52. It should be a little bit bigger than 7. How about 7.2 when we round to the nearest tenth? Okay, so again, on the coordinate plane to find the distance between any two points, you can create a right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, there are times that's not really practical to do. If the points are very far apart or maybe the points aren't integer values, then there's got to be another way to do it, and that is something called the distance formula, the distance formula. All right, so if I had... If I had two points, right, I'm going to call this one right here P, and I'm going to call this one right here Q. And just like we said before, if we wanted to find that distance, well, what we could do, like we said, is we could draw in, we could draw in a right triangle, right? 
and we could count these distances. But if these represent any unknown values, do you remember how to find the distance between any two points? Well, to find the distance between two any horizontal points, you subtract. So this one right here would be x2 minus x1. Do you see how we have x2 minus x1? But to make sure we don't get a negative answer, we're going to take the absolute value. By the way, this 2 and this 1, I've told you this before, I believe they're like last names. Every x on the coordinate plane is called x and every y is called y. So to differentiate between x's, we give them these numbers below it. All right, so it's called x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Absolute value will give you that distance. This one's vertical, so this one's going to be y2 minus y1. All right, so what we get here is a formula that is simply a version of the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, we have c is the square root of a squared plus b squared. Well, now we simply have d is the square root of the same thing, but we've replaced a with x2 minus x1. That's our horizontal distance. And b we have replaced with y2 minus y1. That's our vertical distance. By the way, we don't have to worry about the absolute value because when you square a number, it's never negative. So even if these distances inside turn out to be negative, our answer will not be. Okay, so instead of using the Pythagorean theorem, we can use that distance formula. Okay, so let me do an example right here. Okay, we are asked to find the distance between the house and Camp Sunshine. So if we simply looked at those values, all right, this first one, I would call that first x value x1, and I would call that first y value y1. Then I would call that second x value x2, and I'd call it y2. All right, now the horizontal distance is going to be x2 minus x1, or in this case, that would be, I'm, yeah, that would be 200 minus 10, right? x2 minus x1. Do you see that? All right, and then this, hor this vertical distance, on the other hand, is going to be y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1, or in this case, 120 minus 20. All right, so if we put this in, d would be the square root of, well, 200 minus 10 would be 190 squared. All right, let me, you know what, let me write the whole thing out. 200 minus 10 squared plus 120 minus 20 squared. All right, 200 minus 10 squared is going to be 190 squared. 120, that's going to be 100 squared. Again, this is all in the square root. And now I'm going to use my handy-dandy calculator. And I'm going to do the square root of 190 squared. All right, minus 100, I'm sorry, plus... All right, let's go back and make that a plus a squared plus b squared, right? All right, 100 squared. Close that, and I get 214, whoops, 214.7. All righty, I didn't actually find out what 190 squared plus 100 squared, that's what would go there, okay? Okay, so 214.7, and these are what? Meters. Okay, 214.7, 214.7 meters. All right, so if you are asked to find a length, a distance between two points, again, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, or you can use the distance formula. So real quick right here, this one probably I would use the Pythagorean theorem. So if my goal is to find the distance between, again, that point there and that point there, this is the distance that we are looking for. All right, what can we do? We can go ahead and go down and across. Just a reminder, we could also go up and across. Either one of those ways would work. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go with how they drew it. Then I'd count one, two, three. I'd count here one, two, three, four, five. 
All right, that would be my D. And D would be the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared, which would be the square root of 9 plus 25, which is the square root of 34. Then I would take my handy-dandy calculator, because it says to find to the nearest tenth, and I'd go, what's the square root of 34? Handy-dandy calculator. And it would tell me 5.8. 5.8. And it's just units because we're just on the grid. So anytime you're on the grid, it's going to be units, okay? So that's using the Pythagorean theorem. This one right here, they just give us the points with no grid. So D is going to be, I'm going to use the distance formula. Remember, we're going to do x2 minus x1 squared. That's going to be my a squared corresponding to my a squared. All right. y2 minus y1 squared. That's going to be my b squared. All right. So here we go. This is my x1. This is my y1. This is my x2. This is my y2. So what am I going to get? The square root of, uh, let's see here, 15 minus 3 squared plus, and then y2 minus y1, that's going to be 12 minus uh, 7 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 12 squared plus of 5 squared. All right, that's going to be 144 plus 25. That's going to be 169. Oh, am I good or what? I did the whole thing without a calculator. And that's going to be exactly 13 units. All right, one last quick thing before we finish this video. I do want to let you know that when it comes to labeling the points x1 and y1 and x2 and y2, the order you do it doesn't matter. The first point I usually just call x1, y1. But if your first point was 15, 12, you can make that x1, y1 and then make this one x2, y2. You'll get the same answer because if you switch these around, you're simply going to get negative values. And remember, 12 squared is the equivalent to negative 12 squared. So whether you're squaring a positive or squaring a negative number, you get the same result. So your x2, x1 values are interchangeable, as are the y2 and y1 values. All right. Okay, so two ways to find the distance between two points. There is the Pythagorean theorem in the coordinate plane, and there is the distance formula. All right, I hope this video helped. Until next time, whoops, too far. Have a great day.